Hello and thanks for watching. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through the entire process of setting up a, a funnel. And we're also going to be showing you how to get started with this traffic. This is a complete newbie friendly training. And you're going to be able to go through this um, in a really easy step by step way. OK, I'm going to share with you guys uh, the two platforms that we're going to be using. Obviously, you you know, you you're looking to get traffic Okay, with the traffic zest traffic that we've been recommending um, and and you know for the men, many of the team members uh, this traffic has been uh, performing well um, so what I'm going to do in this training I'm going to sh share with you how to get set up not only with the traffic itself but obviously we're going to show you how to set up a, a funnel so that you can get the traffic sent through that funnel okay uh, and on to you know market your live good business now what do I mean by a funnel okay so a funnel is basically a page something like this. You know, you've probably seen a similar sort of page. It's usually just a simple page um, with a headline, subheadline, maybe, and the, um, a form where they sometimes, in some cases, they put their name and email address, or sometimes just an email address. They click the button, uh, and on the very next page, they get more information about the the opportunity that you're talking about. Okay, so this is what we call a thank you page, if you want to call it that, or if or, or a redirect page. Uh, or even a bridge page. Some people call it a bridge page because it bridges between the lead capture page, which is this one, and the uh, you know where we're trying to send them out to, which is the you know the the, the company that we're promoting here, which is the Live Good Free Tour website. So the funnel basically consists of three pages. Okay, you've got the lead capture page. Some people call it a squeeze page. Some people call it an opt-in page. Okay, because they're opting in requesting more information click the button their email address will be added to your emailing list okay so that you can have more of an opportunity to send them more emails on a regular basis what this what this means is that you're able to follow up with them that's what that's the point and then as soon as they get as soon as they go into that page they go to the uh, the next step which is the bridge page as i've mentioned or, or you can call this the, the thank you page or the redirect page, you know, whatever you want to call it. Okay. Now, they get the more information about the business opportunity, and then they take action. And what? Do they, where do they go next? They go to the Live Good Free Tour website. Okay. So in your back office of Live Good, when you log in, you'll be able to get your free tour website right down here. Okay. But we're not going to be sending the traffic directly to this free tour website. Okay. Some people do that, but I think, quite frankly, that is a little bit of a mistake, okay? But don't worry if you have been doing that. The reason why we do it this way, okay, call it, a th you know, you can call it a three-step process, okay? This, in other words, this is called a, a marketing funnel, is that it gives you the opportunity to collect their name and email address, or in this case, just the email, and that's fine. And it gives you more of an opportunity to continuously follow up with them, even if they don't take action and join you in LiveGood, you know, they're still on your mailing list and you can continuously follow up with them. Because we have found that people are not going to take action uh, on the first introduction of the business. OK, so we need to have more of an opportunity. So it's a little bit like the old school network marketing days where we we were going out with the ad pack. OK, and we would give out an ad pack to the people that we know. OK, in other words, those are the leads. OK, and some people would take a look at the ad pack some people just left it on the side and forgot about it but you know we all remember that we needed to follow up with them we needed to nurture them okay but what we're trying to do here is you know if if we're just having random cold leads visiting our website and you have no way of contacting them then you're you're it's such a waste of time you know you could have random people visiting your website but if you have no idea who those people are, how are you going to follow up with them uh, and ask them, like, how did you enjoy the, the, the website or whatever? So how do you ask them? You know, you follow up with them with an email um, repeatedly because that's why we need to collect their email address so that you can continuously follow up with them. This is the point. Um, and, you know, this page is, a, you know, is, is where you get them more information. They get them, you know, set up in the same way as you got set up. And uh, more importantly, they get to see your website, okay? But uh, people are not going to take action on their first look at the business opportunity. You know, they need to be reminded, 
uh, repeatedly, okay? So what I'm going to teach you to do is to how we're going to set up these two pages here, okay? We don't have to worry about this page because it's already set up in, in, in the back office of the Live Good website, okay? We all know this page here. This is the page that we're going to eventually lead, lead those leads onto. Um, and so it's really these two pages that we're going to be setting up. Now I've got another uh, bunch of pages that you can optionally use on this website here. I'll put the link below. Um, so, you know, we've got another load of pages, but uh, this is the page that we're going to set up today. This page here is this one, okay, as you can see, this is the same. And so this is a lead capture page, okay, this is the, the, the share code, all right. So don't worry about, if you don't know what I mean by a share code, it just simply means this is the code that you're going to use uh, to add into our marketing system so that this page automatically gets um, converted into your into your account so that you don't have to worry about creating this page from scratch okay so that's what that code is for but don't worry we're going to teach you how to set that code up uh, how to set this page up yourself and you don't have to create anything because I've already created these pages the second page that we've mentioned here which is the lead capture page oh, sorry this is the bridge page or if you want to call it the, the, the thank you page okay or the redirect page um, down here is where we call where we got the li the lead the, the live good um, redirect landing pages okay and here is the page that we're talking about here is the share code okay so this is the page that we're going to be setting setting up okay so that's the same page all right and those are the two pages we're going to work on okay now these are just alternative pages you know when you get when you get the hang of it when you get uh, competent on how to use this platform and how to set up pages you can go ahead and just use these other pages <clears throat> so so you know what I, just to back up what we're going to teach you to do is we're going to teach you how to set up um, a lead campaign so that the the, the traffic in other words you're going to be um, purchasing advertising from this particular website and we're going to, they're going to send traffic from this service to this page and all you need to do is to once you've set this page up you need to you just need to collect the URL that you've created and put the URL this is your your page your URL and you're going to be giving that URL to this platform after you register okay and the traffic will be you know switched on and the traffic will come to this page they will opt in and on the very next page they will go to this page and they will check out the information they will click this link and they will immediately go onto this page they will opt in okay and then obviously after they opt in you're going to know that because you're going to be alerted that somebody has um, registered as a free tour member uh, on your live good website so you're going to get excited and think okay great now it's time to follow up with them okay and you'll be able to do that in your back office and you'll be able to go to my referrals okay right on this link here okay and then you're going to be able to email out and say hi you know we've got the free tours coming up hurry up you've got to you know get on board if you got any questions reach out to me that kind of thing okay put it in your own words it's really that simple you also want to tell them about or introduce them about the webinar schedule get them on the Thursday webinars get them on the Friday webinars so there's a lot of opportunity for you to follow up um, give them the information get them in the Facebook group uh, and that's how you follow up with follow up with them once they've come in as a free to a member so that you can nurture them and get them upgraded as a as a paid member in live good okay so here's where we're going to get the um <clears throat> share codes from okay so so what so what you need is you need um to register with um traffic zest which is the traffic uh, um, platform that we're going to be getting the traffic from in other words you're going to be advertising using this platform so you need to register here under the person um, who introduced you okay but if that's me then you can just click the link below on this YouTube video and um, you know if you're watching this on YouTube it's you, it's going to be on my channel so that you click the link in the description and then you can join if you're watching this video on another pla on a, another website or whatever get in touch with your uh, sponsor and ask them for their link to this website okay so create a free account uh, on this website Okay, and that's all you need to do for the moment. We'll come back there later. You know, you'll be able to log in, you'll be able to verify your email address, and that's fine. The next thing you need to do is you need to join under your sponsor, okay, with Leadsleep. 
Okay, make sure that your sponsor's username is at the end there. Again, if, if you're watching this video on my YouTube channel, the link will be in the description of this YouTube channel, okay? So that you need to register. You can grab a free, uh, a free uh, account for the moment and you might consider to upgrade or you can just ba basically use what I'm going to teach you here as, with a free membership of Leadsleep, okay, basically. However, there are going to be some limitations and we'll cover that later on in this video. However, free, a free membership will be possible, but a paid membership would be recommended. So you fill in the form, you, you register, and then on, on the inside, um, you're going to be able to, uh, you, you'll see a similar platform like this. Now, I'm obviously a paid member, so my, my um, account might look a little bit different to yours, but don't worry about that. Um, I get a lot of people who ask me, what's, you know, what's the difference? What are the benefits? What do we get as a paid member? You, you can actually find out. Uh, by clicking somewhere around here, there's, a, there's a, a link that says upgrade, okay? And then you can see a kind of a comparison chart as to what you're going to get as a paid member versus what you get as a free member, okay? I, I personally don't really know what you get as a free member, to be honest, because I have never been a free member. I, I upgraded and have really never paid for this because I earn commissions by recommending this platform. And uh, so it's always paid for itself, okay? Um so this is the platform that allows us to create these pages that I'm talking about. So you'll be able to get a page like this um, and, a, and, and this page as well. And all these, um, all these pages that you see here with these share codes, all these pages were actually created using the Leads Leap platform here. This is the Leads Leap platform and this is the login area. So, you know, what... What I've been doing is I've been busy personally to cre go to the page manager and I simply created these pages myself. But you don't actually have to because I've created the pages already for you and all you need is to import a share code. Okay, that's what I was talking about. Um, that's the, these are the share codes. Okay, and uh, we're going to show you how to uh, you know, import a share code. We're going to be using this page here. The, the lead capture page five, okay, number five. Okay, this is for live good, all right? And um, <clears throat> so don't feel overwhelmed with all the stuff that you see in here. The, the thing that you're gonna be, mostly you're gonna be using are the, obviously the page manager right here, okay? Because you're gonna be importing a couple of pages, okay, as we've discussed. And you're also gonna be using the list manager because you need to be, the whole point is you need to be building your list. Okay, so I'm going to be opening these up into two, two window, two tabs. So we're going to be sort of working between those two. So I'm going to open this up into a new tab in, in my browser. So I've got my page manager opened. You might be seeing a different screen to me. That's okay because you haven't got, maybe if you're brand new to this, you haven't yet got any pages added in here and that's fine. Okay, um, I'm also going to open up the list manager. Okay. Um, so that we have that available. Again, you won't maybe no, you won't see anything here if you haven't created any lists yet, and that's fine. Okay. Um, I've created a lot of lists, <clears throat> as you can see. Um, I've also created a lot of pages, but that's fine. All right. So, first things first is um, you need. We're gonna okay. Let's let's create a new page. All right. So we're in Page Manager. Okay. If you if you're not there yet. Make, make sure that you, you, you click on the page manager over here. Click on the button that says add a new page. Okay, for this demonstration, you can call it what you like, but I'm going to call it, um, for example, okay, live good uh, lead capture page okay, one. All right. So this will be the lead capture page. <clears throat> okay, so leave that, leave that as it is for the moment. We're going to create another page. Okay, and then this time I'm going to call it Live Good. Um, I'm going to call it Thank You Page. Just, just really to keep it simple, because this is going to be the, the the redirect page. Okay, so now we've got two pa two. I, I call them pages, but let's call them. You can call them pages if you like, but there is no there's no pages added in here yet. So they're basically campaigns if you like. So like. If you've created the lead capture page first, that's going to be the second one on the list here already. So you can add a new design. So we click the button here. Um, if you if you click this one, for example, you would then 
uh, be presented with uh, a whole bunch of templates already done for you. So that's, that's also an easy option if you're brand new to this. The other easy option that we're going to be doing, and this is what, we're, what I'm going to uh, ask you to do now, is to put in the share code. Okay, so everything about Leadsly is easy. All right, there are so many choices, but it's, it's easy peasy. So what we're going to do today is we're going to just use this side here. We're going to put in a share code. So we go back to the, share, the, the list of share codes. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to be using this page. Okay, this is the page that we're going to be uh, importing. Okay, so we're going to copy this share code. And then I just click that, copy it down, and I go back to my page manager, and I just paste that in there. And then I just click import. And then we're asked a few little questions, okay? Um, it, it actually asks, enter your uh, Sendsteed list ID for LiveGood. All right, you can, if, if you've already created a list, um, you can add in your list right now. If you haven't, you can do that later. However, hold on, okay, let's keep it as it is for the moment, okay? We're also going to be, you know, getting ready to create a thank you page as well. Um, what I'm going to do for now is, is I'm going to close this actually. Okay, don't worry about filling in this blank at the moment because we're going to we're going to deal with it later. Okay, close this down. Okay, um, hold on a minute. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, so we imported that. So now we've got a page. Um, so this page has now been imported. You could even uh, pre preview the page. And there's your page. But we haven't, we haven't finished yet, okay? So you, you don't want to be sharing this page out. We need, there are a few things we need to do. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a new design for the thank you page, okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually add in this blue page. So... We go here, we go down to get to the thank you redirect pages and we grab this page. Okay, again, the same thing. And we go back to page manager <clears throat> and here we are at the thank you page. We click this little button here. Again, we paste that in there and then we click import. It's gonna ask us a few more questions but we haven't really set everything up yet but don't worry about it. I mean. One thing you can do, though, is enter the full affiliate URL to LiveGood. So let's get that done anyway. Okay, so, so that's, you know, just so that's done. So LiveGood, go to LiveGood, grab, copy the link, um, copy that down, go to the uh, page manager and paste that into there. Okay, so that, that uh, replaces what we've already got there. Um, the next thing is enter your full affiliate link URL uh, for Leadsleep. Um, I'm just going to, you know, you, you can actually, now that you're a member of Leadsleep, you can also grab that as well. So um, just copy this if you want, the whole thing, okay? Copy it down, okay, and paste it in there. But what you, very importantly, what you need to do is you need to replace the user ID. This is your Leadsleep, okay? This is the platform that you're on right now. Okay, leads leap um, user ID. So, you know, how, however you, you know, whatever your um, username is for uh, when you join leads leap. Um, hold on a minute, where is leads leap? There it is. Okay, so when you joined leads leap, if you remember, you, you signed up for a leads leap with a free account, whatever you put in as a username, okay, and, and also when you log into leads leap, okay. Um, you know, you need to uh, put that username for Leadsleep. Okay, another thing you can actually do is you can actually go down to the bottom here. You can go to Affiliate Links. And you can actually either copy that in there or, or just copy the whole thing. Um, okay, and then just go back to uh, Page Manager. And actually, you know, if you want, you can just copy the whole thing. Um, so what I was basically saying is that either you can just paste that URL from it, from there and put your own username at the end there. Okay, whatever it is, um, or you can just go and just copy the whole thing in there. Um, <clears throat> you can also put your Telegram information, but in my case, my Telegram information is the same as this. Um, 
so that people can have a way to contact you. Um, and you know what you could do is you could just replace your username for Telegram in there. Uh, enter the full URL uh, for your image, okay? If you have an image, um, so you know you could upload an image. All right. If you don't have an image, um, I can show you a way to just, just to remove the image option anyway later on. But yeah, uh, that's up to you. You put your name in here. Okay, and then just you know, if just leave anything blank if you if you can't deal with it now, and you will will deal with it later. So replace and import. <clears throat> so what you can do is now you can actually load up this page into the into the manager. Okay. Notice that the, the image here is, is my image, but you know you can add in your image um, by uploading an image somehow. You might have to uh, upload it to you know Google Docs, okay, and then paste the URL, direct URL to the image uh, in, in, in this section here so that it would replace that. Um, but obviously, if you're a pro member of Leadsleep, you can upload it directly here. But if you're not a pro member, I don't believe you can upload it. So you'll have to figure out another way to upload uh, I mean, a, <clears throat> an image here to make it work. But if, if, you, if, you have, if you haven't got any way of doing that, one thing you can do is you can optionally just delete the whole thing. If you have no way, um, you know, you could just delete the whole thing. And then you could just, you know, make this central. You can, it's, it's all drag and drop. You can just make it center. So another thing you can do is you can select it. And then you can go over here and where it says middle. You can make it go uh, central like that. So notice how you know, notice how that you know if I just leave it over here by mistake, <laughs> you can go here and you and it automatically recent recenters the uh, uh, the whole thing. Um, same applies down here. If you wanted to just delete that, it's up to you. Um, you know, you in the same way you select it, and then you you can click the. Uh, dustbin right up the top here you see my mouse delete it if you want to or you can put in your own image it's up to you um, and also make sure that the uh, link here to lock in a position goes to your um, goes to your link okay so you make sure that your username for livegood is in that link okay so if, if it doesn't look right what you can do is you can just Go here, grab your link, uh, copy link address, go back to the page builder, make sure that the mouse is selected over the button and on the uh, right, uh, right hand side, make sure that the whole URL is selected. Select all, delete it completely and paste your full URL into that box right there and then you click save. Okay, same applies, again, same, same applies here. You need to replace that right there. You don't have to have the whole thing in there. You can just do it like this. It, that's fine. And, you know, make sure that your username for LiveGood is right in there. <clears throat> um, you, you know, again, you make sure that your Leads Leap link, join link, is there. Okay, again, if you want, you can go to Leads Leap, back office, Okay, you're in Lead Sleep. You can go right down to the bottom here, Affiliate Links, and open the bottom page where it says Affiliate Resources. Okay, that, this is the link down here, right, right at the bottom of the menu. Okay, and then you just copy the whole link there, and then you just paste that in there. Okay, and make sure. That's fine. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. Leave that as is. Don't touch that. And then you can also put in your Telegram information there so that it can contact you. Now, if you don't have Telegram and you'd rather not use Telegram, one thing you can do is you can select it and then you can replace and you can put in, for example, Facebook. Okay. And then you can put your Facebook Um, information ok 
okay so that you don't have to use telegram again you might want to change the wording here okay so you just select the element you go into the settings here okay and then you change it to Facebook again you might want to change this as well obviously rather than telegram okay and then just change the wording it's up to you you know if you want to keep it as it is and you and you prefer to use telegram keep it as it is if you rather use another platform like Instagram or whatever as long as you put in some way where people can contact you that's really the the purpose is you know you're you're trying to set up a business relationship here so that they can have a chance to ask you questions now I'm you know what you would do is you would save the page at this point okay because you're done you're you're basically done editing all right so I'm not going to save it because I don't want those changes to be to take an effect so I'm going to close that okay and then you win page manager so that page the thank you page has basically been done now what I want to make sure well before I do that I'm going to do one other thing I'm going to go to the list manager so I'm going to move away from page manager but I want to keep that open I want to keep this page open in a tab so I'm going to use another tab and I'm going to switch over to list manager so I'm going to create a new list and I'm going to put in live good um, list one okay just an example so now we have live good list manager here okay and then I'm gonna just click on the cog and we've named it already that's fine now optional you can create a brand logo or a brand name just forget about the logo for a moment just let's put a brand name um, just put in live good team or something okay and then uh, leave that blank okay now you can optionally put in a show a link after verification okay so this is perhaps a link where they will go after they verified their email address so one thing you can do is you can go back to page manager in the in the other tab and where you already created your thank you page you can copy one of these URLs okay if you're a free member you'll have to copy the top one if you're a pro member you have those two options so go back to list and then just paste that uh, in there like that okay so this this page is going to be the blue page okay that's that's what you've got in there all right now it says optional email me when someone opts in so this is up to you I, I usually select no's um, then I put in my um, name put in an email address <clears throat> okay what we're going to do here is we're going to put in the email verification code now what you need to do is now that you've put your email address in there this is important you need to click this blue button okay you can watch you can you can read all the instructions here which are all on screen to help you but you need to click this button okay it says the uh, the email you, you've just received an email to this email okay and then you need to uh, open the email okay I'm gonna when I get that email I'm gonna just paste it in there <clears throat> Okay, so Leads Leap came, and what you need to do is you need to copy the code that they send you from Leads Leap, okay, and then you just paste that code into there, and then you need to put your your um, address in there, okay, and uh, that's this is the rule you have to do that. Um, and then what I like to do is I select these boxes because this signature can have your text in there. So just for the moment, click here and just put a signature in there. Just put in your name uh, and maybe a way to contact you, such as your email address. All right, so let's make that a link. Actually, um, mm -hmm. let's put mail to colon and then your email. Okay, and that should be fine. 
and then update <clears throat> and then you need to select this box here to activate and then save okay um, saying my address is incomplete hold on a minute let's just see if that works yeah that works so it says now the list is now activated um, and it's saved but before we go any further what I want to do is I want to um, so now we've got this list you see where it says list ID okay we've got a number here I want you to copy this ID just copy that ID down on, on your computer go to the page manager and where it says lead capture page one okay which you've added in here I want you to launch the editor okay now we need to set up this this little section here so it's very easy you just go to list and I want to make sure that um, so you you can either put in the number here that you've copied or you can just select it here so any list that you've created we've already created this list so you can select it from the list so yeah it adds it in there next we want to put a redirect page here so go back to page manager go to the th thank you page right up here copy one of the, these the, this URL here or whichever go to the um, go to this page again and then just select it delete that in there and then just paste that in there okay that's all you need to do close that down and that page is done save it okay your work is done okay this page will be refreshed so that you're, you're basically most of the way set up so from this point on okay well one thing you do need to do even if you're a free member is you now need to go to here so if you're a free member you need to go to this little icon here and you need to set up a th uh, the initial email okay so click this button here right now it says skip welcome email but we we, we want to have an email okay so what you need to do is um, you need to add an email okay make it your email okay in your language in your wording okay just just say welcome to uh, for example welcome to the or welcome to the team I don't know why not <laughs> okay and then just just you know delete all this and just said so hi um, So, you know, whatever whatever comes to mind. I'm so excited that you joined the team. Um, here's the information that you requested. Um, and then, you know, you can uh, put in the link, for example, to this page. Not for example, just, you know, absolutely put the link to this page. One thing you can do is, it, it, at this stage, why not, you know, if you want to, you can also put the link to, to, the, to your LiveGood page. So, you know, let's go ahead and do it. So, use this link here and go to um, where is it list manager so I'm not I'm not going to show you what I write I mean it could be anything so just put in any welcome email um, really excited to be working with you uh, here's the information that I promised you blah 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 uh, and then put the email put the link there make sure the link is uh, a hyperlink so you need to s click this little button here insert a link and then paste the URL here okay and then click that so it goes blue that way that when they click the email click in the email they're gonna be able to link out to the page okay and then you just finish off the email say thanks whatever blah 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 thank you whatever okay uh, regards <laughs> so I haven't really done anything here but you know you need to create the email okay that this is something you can do this is like you know whatever comes to mind for example hi I'm so excited to be potentially working with you thanks for opting in and requesting more information about this incredible opportunity uh, get on the link below um, that's the information that you uh, requested um, I'll, I'll follow up with you in a day or, or to, uh, follow up with you tomorrow or whatever you can say whatever you like thanks and uh, chat chat to you tomorrow and then what you do is you just save 
and it gives you a preview and then you're done. So there's your welcome email. So if you're a free member, you're done, you're set up, you're complete. If you're a paid member, what you can do is you can click here, <clears throat> okay, and what this will allow you to do is to set up um, an email list series, okay, a whole load of emails will be imported, already done for you <coughs> into your list, okay, including the welcome email. So this welcome email will, will be overwritten and deleted and it'll be replaced with a with an e with an email that's already done. I'm am sorry I didn't I didn't mean to be un unfair to free members, but I just don't happen to have <laughs> a script available, you know, on, offhand. It's all in the share code. So we're going to grab a share code. So we're going to click import, and we're going to use one of the share codes. So we go back to the page that we're on. Here's here's the uh, page that we're on for the share codes. You go down to the bottom here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to just grab this this list. Okay, it's kind of a generic. It's it's live good list, but it's it's sort of generic. No complications. Gets people, you know, on board. So grab that grab that um share code and um go back to your list manager. Paste that into there. Um and what you need to do, replace all existing episodes of uh, or add-ons. So yeah, create yes, uh, replace all existing episodes, absolutely. And it's including welcome email, yes, if available, absolutely, and import. It asks you some questions, okay? So enter your name. Um, add your LiveGood um, URL. So go, go to LiveGood, um, copy, this, copy this LiveGood URL down. Go into list manager, paste it in there. <clears throat> Enter your landing page. Um, so you added to the Lee's Leap. Okay, make sure that you get that. Um, okay, but actually, what you need sorry, yeah, what you need to do is actually, you need to go to the, you need, you need to get your blue page. So go to the page manager. Where it says thank you page, you need to copy that and go to list manager and uh, copy that in there. Um, enter your Mega Marketing Pro information. If you're not a member of Mega Marketing Pro, um, you can ask your sponsor for their link if you want to. Um, it, it's up to you. But um, for now, you know, if you if you you can just leave that blank and ask ask your sponsor later. Um, if they if they're not a member or, or if it feels overwhelming and you want to skip that, just go through the emails. There are not that many to go through. You could just edit the emails. It's not that big, big of a deal. You can just delete the uh, any reference to Mega Marketing Pro if you want to. But uh, my advice, you, know, you could even just um, go to this link right here uh, and uh, join through me if you don't have a sponsor. Okay. But uh, my advice is definitely go to grab a uh, URL from your sponsor. Okay, and just, just register for the moment. It's very simple. You can uh, go through that a bit later um, and set that up. Okay, enter your Telegram information, but uh, in my case, my Telegram um, URL is this. So I'm just going to paste that in there and then um, replace. Okay, and all those emails are added in there. Okay, it's as simple as that. So really cool stuff. Um, you know, by all means, go through the emails just to make sure that they sort of read okay and uh, everything's everything's done. I mean, it sounds like a big job, but <laughs> I'm the one who's done the big job, you know, in writing these out from scratch. So, you know, you could go through and just make sure if you wanted to, it's up to you. But um, yeah, so that that's that and um, set that up. All right, so you're basically you're basically completely set up. The next thing to do is to um, go to back to page manager. So this is the page that we're going to be sharing out. So if they um, go on this URL, they're going to see this page. And the, the, the leads uh, that you're advertising to are going to put their email address in there and they're going to click here and on the very next page, uh, they're going to go and see, they're going to see this page. Okay, they're also going to get your emails. All right, and then and then when they go in here, they're going to click this this button here, and they're going to go straight onto the Live Good tour. 
So the next thing we need to do is we need to set up um, <clears throat> the traffic. Because if you don't get any eyeballs onto this, onto this website that you've just set up, it doesn't mean anything. You need to advertise it, okay? And that's what we are gonna be doing with Traffic Zest. So you go to Traffic Zest, make sure that you're registered, okay? Through the, your sponsor's link, click here, uh, okay? And then sign up. It's very, very simple. Just fill in the form, sign up. I've already got an account, so I'm just gonna log in. Okay, I'm on the back office here. And you're gonna see a blank page, okay? You can decide how much you want to invest. The first thing you want to consider is, are you ready to invest, all right? And if you are, you can just simply add funds, okay? You just click here and you have two options, okay? You can use a credit card and the minimum deposit is $100. Uh, $100. So if you want to just test this out, don't go crazy, you know, set yourself a budget, pace yourself um, and add that in using a credit card, okay? Just go through the on-screen instructions and uh, you know get on board okay once you've got money in your account there okay you can uh, you can then add an add a campaign okay so you just click here add campaign you can call it what you want you can, for example um, live good funnel one so this name already exists for me but in your case you can do whatever you want so call it whatever you want it's just for your own purpose then you go to the destination URL. So this one has to be, um, you know, go to the page manager and you need to go to the live good lead capture page. So copy your link and then you go to traffic zest and you just paste your link in there. Done. All right. If you want to start the, the if you want to start the traffic as soon as possible, you can just leave it as it is. You don't really need to touch this either, okay, because, you know, it's all going to be controlled by your budget, okay, so when you run out of budget, it'll just stop anyway. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do down here is you can leave this blank because we're going to we're going to be talking, you know, we're going to be targeting money making opportunities, people who are seeking to uh, join a money making on, uh, opportunity online. So that's fine. Keep it as it is. Traffic providers, you can skip that. You can skip the countries, don't worry about it. But if you do want to select certain countries, you can also blacklist certain countries if you don't want to target certain countries, that's up to you. But personally, I didn't even touch that. It left it blank. I left the device blank because I want to, I want to target all devices, desktops, smartphone, tablets, no problem at all. Um, I want to target all operating systems, all different types of uh, computers and so on, no problem at all, leave that blank. I'm going to leave that blank as well. Okay, just leave it blank. Okay, and then the budget. So what am I prepared to spend uh, for clicks? So what I did was I typed in um, 30 cents. Okay, it's up to you. So um, I put in uh, 30 cents uh, for, for, for my cl um, per click. My total budget is up to, you know, if you've only put in $100 or, you know, and you don't mind using all that budget, then just just leave it blank if you want to and it'll just simply stop automatically once it runs out of budget all right but if you want to you know if you want to put in some funds but you don't want to use them all you can just type in something here like a hundred dollars or fifty dollars or whatever it's up to you but um you know if it doesn't matter to you just leave it you know leave it blank so that it uses what you've got in your balance <clears throat> and then add, add a daily budget Okay, this is quite a good option because, you know, the thing with LiveGood is that they are quite strict. If you're sending too much traffic all at once, you might get your, your, your LiveGood account um, clo um, suspended. So you want to take care. So what I did was I select $50 per day. So I don't want the traffic to come in too fast. If that happens, you're just going to get a whole lot of free tour takers and you might run the risk of, of your um, LiveGood account getting... getting um, suspended you know if you want to go a little bit more conservative you could put in $30 a day and, and it'll run for however long okay so if, for example if you've if you put in a budget of you know $100 and you put in $50 you'll, it'll run for two days you know it might be too aggressive you might want to just be on the safe side and put in $20 a day or whatever 
or you just want to pan out the traffic so that you have more of a chance to follow up with your um, free tour takers. So if you end up getting a lot of free tour takers and you can't keep up with uh, following up, because you need to follow up, guys, don't think that you're going to let all this whole process go on autopilot. You need to follow up. Follow up is crucial. And yes, you need to, yes, even if you've set up a, an autoresponder, you still need to follow up on a manual basis with, uh, you know, kind emails, sending out value, supporting your, you know, nurturing your leads as they come through. So, you know, you might want to just put that like $20 so that you can keep up with, you know, supporting those leads that are coming in. Um, it's up to you, but uh, you can run it as uh, like a smooth daily, smooth uh, distribution of um, leads coming in. All right, it's up to you. So really, that's it. And then you just click active and then you save the project. Okay, it's as simple as that. Okay, so I'm not going to do that um, because I've already got something running, but I'm going to be adding some funds very soon. Okay. <clears throat> Another thing you can bear in mind is if you go to the affiliate program, you can also share out your link to to your team so that you can earn some commissions from this traffic. So if somebody is looking to get traffic in your downline, send them this link. They can join um, Traffic Zest. The other thing is when you do get commissions, you can actually um, withdraw your commissions uh, either to Wise account or you can send it back to the to traffic. So you can add to your traffic balance and you can use it to purchase more traffic. That's up to you. So, so then, you know, your, your, um, you know, your funnel will, will run. Okay. And you'll be set your, your, your traffic will send the traffic to your lead capture page and they'll come through the link and they'll get onto the, uh, they'll eventually they'll get onto your free tour website. Obviously that, you know, they're going to see the, um, blue page. Sorry, I've missed, uh, okay. Well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, eventually they're, they're going to go through here. They're going to get on a free tour and you're going to get an email from live good saying, congratulations. Someone got into your free tour, uh, joined you as a free tour. You can go into your back office and you can go to, um, <clears throat> my referrals. Okay, I'm not going to click there because I've got sensitive information there, people's you know, information. So when you click there, you'll see a whole list of people that have come in as a free tour taker. What you need to do is you need to um, send out emails. Just, just send them an, an email. Have an email written out by yourself. You don't need a script. Just write it out. It's really simple. Keep it short and, ke and kind um, <clears throat> and tell them, you know, to to get up you know to tell them the benefits of live good tell them what uh, why you joined okay tell them your story um recommend them to get on the the webinar schedules uh, that we have every week you can send them the link to remind them of the webinar um schedules and tell them about the shop and what products you like tell them about your story okay why did you join um invite them onto a, a you know a, a, a zoom call you know set up a free account with a zoom and uh, get get them onto a Zoom call, a two-way Zoom call with you, <clears throat> and um, you know, so, so many things you can do. And also send them over to to our uh, Facebook group. We've got a Facebook group, and you can get them into the Facebook group. Um, get them connected on Facebook. Get them connected on Telegram, um, so that you know you're, you're supporting them. And then hopefully they become your downline. And then when you rinse and repeat, and you keep doing this, you know, eventually, eventually things are going to happen. But you know, don't don't just solely focus 100% on cold lead generation. Guys, you need to be on Facebook. You need to be contacting people that you know. You need to be um, so, you know you need to be contacting your warm market, uh, network with people on social media, maybe uh, start up a YouTube channel. You know, you need to be doing those other things as well. Don't just so, solely focus on lead generation because um, it takes time, you know, and sometimes it's frustrating if if that's the only thing that you're you're focused on and you know not much is happening and you're not getting so many upgrades you're just going to be frustrated but this is just a way just to keep things going you know um and so that you have more leads to work with so never stop following up with your leads guys just do it every single week and even the leads that have come in you know weeks ago or months ago keep following up with them don't give up on them you know keep keep supporting them Hope that hope this uh, training was useful, and you know, 
get familiar with uh, Leads Leap. I know Leads Leap might look, seem like a, a complicated um, platform, but it's not. You know, remember, you, you can go through the dashboard, you can go through the tutorials, um, you can, you know, you can go through um, the whole system and learn a little bit about um, how Leads Leap works. But once you're familiar with Leads Leap, you're going to be able to set up your own pages and funnels um, without any of this training and it's going to be easy peasy. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this training was useful and uh, bye for now.